Hosted by a cock and frog. Shaka talk. I've hit the streets, been around the block. Shaka talk. And jerk off in my dirty socks. Shaka talk. My name is Dr. Rhea. Some people call me Fea. I've got something to say. Allow me just one prayer. Okay. Uh, suffer from a mental block. Shaka talk. Like, oh my god. And what the fuck? Shaka talk. So turn it up and sit right by. Shaka talk. Santa's baby is growing here inside of me now Like wow, I'm gonna be the mother of Santa's baby He put it in me Christmas Eve night Santa's baby is growing here inside of my gut This slut Got drunk and now she's pregnant with Santa's baby A bastard child, but at least it's white What, we can't say that? Oh well, we'll cut it out When I heard that Ho, ho, ho I spread my legs beneath the mistletoe Then Santa had his way No, no. Hey, wait a minute. Santa raped me. He took advantage of a young girl. The world has got to know the ugly truth how Santa raped me. Although I tried to put up a fight. And don't you dare for one second say I was asking for it because I was wearing a mini skirt and a tube top. Santa's baby will make it hard to ever erase that face All fat and jolly sweating on me Santa's baby is gonna wreck my life and my thighs Too late <laughs> Santa's baby is growing like a cancer I fear Right here it's gonna look just like him so oh, somebody take me and get this baby out of my sight. Do you have 50 bucks I could borrow? No. I got excited. I couldn't wait. The moment my monthly curse was laid. Now it's a gift I'll never unwrap. Santa's baby, he came down the chimney, then came in me. I'd make a lousy single mom, so Santa's baby is gonna get aborted tonight. But thanks to the conservative right, I've got to say I was raped that night. What's up, everybody? Thanks for watching Shaka Talk. I'm your hostess, Dior Rhea. You can call me Dior. And I have sitting next to me world famous, international, super brilliant, superstar, Jackie fucking Lee. Hi, everybody. Hi. So, we just saw Santa's baby. Yeah, that was really disturbing. Was it based on a true story? I mean, I did it, and I'm disturbed by it, but no, it's not based on a true story. Not, so you're not pregnant or miscarried? Or no, none of that happened. Oh. It's art. But let me tell you, when I do song parodies, I know this sounds crazy, but like, I want it to actually like, 
have sort of um, a plot twist usually. Mm -hmm. That's why, like, when I do Beaver, it's like at the end, you know, it's <laughs> like, no, it's like, oh my God, I got a vagina and now I miss my wiener. So, you know, I, it's got to go somewhere. So, anyway, Santa's, on a ride. Santa's baby is like, you know, How? a murder she wrote. <laughs> murder the baby. Um, so, have you ever been pregnant? Um, not that I know of. Oh, really? Yeah, Which I mean. Be at this moment? It's possible. Why? Well, have you been practicing unsafe sex? I, I practice. I, I hope to get it right someday. <laughs> um, how do you feel about abortion, if you are? You know what? Um, I mean, let you know a little secret. Under all this, I'm a man. So until I can have an abortion... No, I'm just kidding. I don't have an opinion. Oh. I think women have the right to do whatever they want. Whatever they want? Yeah. So do you, how do you feel about prostitution? Including murdering their babies. <laughs> no. Um, Please don't kill your baby. I've always wanted to do that. Please don't kill it. No. Oh. I'll put that in my 80s medley. I'm working on it. I love abort your child. Yeah. That's one of the examples I use when I tell everybody about your songs. Oh, abort yeah? your child, Jew colored. Which is my favorite when the colors left the show. The oh time. yeah, there were some, some very some of those. touchy people. <laughs> um, no, I'm working on a new uh, '80s medley, and the uh, the jewel of the crown is that how you say it? The crown jewel of oh, that jewel. is going to be "I Started AIDS Down in Africa." <sighs> It's going to be all about that like so awesome. going on safari in Africa and leaving the tent flap open because the tour guide is really cute and I think he's coming in in the dark, but it was a monkey. A monkey <laughs> fucked me and I, I started AIDS by screwing a monkey. Anyway, it's horrible, but you know what? Bought me a house. Hello. Hi. Well, how, do you, how do you start your, what is your writing process like? How do you decide what song to use and what to do? Well, it's usually driving around LA in my car listening to the radio and then it just comes to you. You change the word you to poo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, something like that. Cool. I don't um, know. Is there much backlash that you have? Like the Jew colors or? No, I think most people get it. I just, you know, like I, there's no critical thinking these days. People just hear a word and they freak out. It doesn't matter what context it's in. I mean, guess what people, this is not the new, you know, KKK, KKK you know, KKK uniform. Every day, white power. I'm just saying, this is not the new uniform for white supremacy. <laughs> it's like, take, it, take it with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. Season salt. <laughs> um, how do you feel about people doing your songs, like drag queens lip syncing to your songs? Or? Well, I am not a big fan of lip syncing, but there are some people, I mean, at least know your words and pick a song that the DJ hasn't played 15 times. Thank you. You know what I mean? It's like, why would you do the Lady Gaga hit? Pick something from 20 years ago. Yeah. Pick a good story song. Know the words. Anyway, but it's one thing if they're going to do a song or two of mine, but there are a few people that literally do like, their entire act is like all my songs. That's what we were talking about on the way to the car. One of my friends is all, I got my next few numbers already already. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> um, I mean, it's, you know, it's a backhanded compliment. Hmm. We're out of time. Yeah, well, let's watch Dirty Sanchez, Euthanasia. Um, okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Okay.
and when we ask about like where that song came from or something or like why I wrote it. Why did you write the song Euthanasia? Uh, to be honest, I want. I thought maybe if it was a big hit, we could go to Japan or like. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I thought like uh, maybe we we'll, like because you know it's a big drag queen yeah. and like you know they like stuff like They're that. They're all but into like weird. Didn't like us. No, I'm just kidding. Have you guys tried? I mean, any we response? Really, or? We don't really try anything. I mean, we started the band as a joke. We got a record deal and then you know toured with my life with the Thrill Kill Cult. Yeah, so. My first performance when I came back from LA was with Thrill Kill Cult. Amazing. My friend did heroin on stage, and oh. she passed out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, she's coming back from... I thought it was crazy to eat a meatball sandwich on stage, but... <laughs> Meatballs. Well, how do you feel about... I mean, you're a big animal lover. Yeah. What do you think of euthanasia, the act? Well, again, <clears throat> if someone or an animal is dying and they're in a bunch of pain, what if they're just left over at the pound? Oh no. How did oh, you get your, your doggies? One was from a pet store. Mario bought it for me. And uh, he, before he knew that that was not the thing to do. I mean, he's a stupid Colombian. What do you expect? <laughs> and, um, you know, they're really good at making cocaine, but okay. other than that... Coffee? And fucking. Uh, are um, we allowed to say that? Of course. You can get naked on all levels, too. Go for it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Good point out. I'm tired. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, but anyway, no, um, and then my other dog was a rescue that Alexis Arquette gave me. Oh, cute. Yeah. Do you still see Alexis a lot, or...? Not that frequently. No? Yeah. Cute. But she's great. Um... We saw, how do you feel about your whole play, um, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, or was it? Oh, Whatever Happened to Busty Jane? Busty Jane. Oh, it was so much fun. Yeah. Talk about offensive. That was hot. I mean, it was like every racist joke. Short jokes. Short fat jokes, jokes, fat <laughs> jokes, and lots of AIDS jokes. Lots oh, right. of AIDS I jokes. I think my friend got mad about the My Dick song by... What's his name? Oh, yeah, I can't remember his stupid name. Uh, Simon Rex, whatever. And she only got mad when she heard the AIDS joke. She's like, you can't play that. I'm all, the whole song is fucked up. Okay, mad about you know, that. I just did 10 weeks in Provincetown. Mm -hmm. And after my show, there was this woman who's like, I love your show, but you've got to cut that MS joke. First of all, it's not a joke. Okay. I just make this thing. I'm like, somebody on Facebook invited me to the MS walk. I'm like, MS walk? That's just mean. What's next? Bikini car wash for breast cancer? So it's not really a joke, it's about insensitivity. But she's like, you need to cut that. My mother died of MS. I'm like, okay, so the AIDS joke was okay? Yeah, it's like... Like, pick your fucking battles, you dumb cunt. What? <laughs> so Busty Jane was a washed up porn star, but you've done a lot of <clears throat> porn roles. Yes, I've been the, the comic relief, if you will, in many... Uh -huh. In many uh, uh, X ray uh, documentaries, as I call them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I'm the, you know, the boss with the cat eye glasses. If you don't get to work, you're fired. And you cut to the woman being Blue screwed movie. on, like, yeah, a pool table or something. So you were in Blue Movie with Jenna Jameson, but you're also in two movies called Flawless, right? Yes, isn't that funny? That's hot. One I was Sarah Patrick. One with Tara Patrick. And one with Robert De Niro. <laughs> exactly. Oh my God, that's really. That's the coolest. But I was wearing Jackie Beat Rolls t-shirt when I ran into Tara, not knowing. She's all, I was in a movie with her. And that kind of broke the ice with it. It okay. made her like me. So, I, yeah, I've been <laughs> in a movie with Jenna Jameson and Tara Patrick. They're like the two. Yeah. Wow. But you're not credited on the blue movie box. Are you on the flawless box? I, I don't know. I got fired from the porn shop. Never mind. I mean, nobody cares that I'm in it. Huh? I do. That's well, I'm just saying. <laughs> they just re, re... What did they just... Fast forward through that. The bloopers are good. I'm talking about chow mein. Oh, I don't even remember. Yeah, I, remember. I, remember. I don't think I've seen that. Oh, really? You're sucking up because you're just eating the whole movie, right? <laughs> so then you're of course. Just on a noodle. That's um, always my shtick. Would you ever do a sex scene? On no. Is, there's no sex tapes ready there's to be no released? Sex. Huh? There's no sex. Huh? There's no sex. Taped or otherwise. It was so Tucked. sad. <laughs> Duct taped. Or it's anything. so sad. Shall all we? the horrible, dirty things I sing about, and I'm all alone in this world. Do you want us to find you somebody? I, have. I need a boyfriend, yeah. Do, can it be a stranger, a temporary one-night stand, or... Oh, do uh, I don't know. Do you get a lot of action when you're touring? Never! Are you Do you crazy? try, or are no, they afraid I don't of you? <laughs> I don't try, no. Why not? Oh my god, we're I'm out of shy. time. Okay. <laughs> Here comes... 
What's next? They want, <laughs> they want me to act stupid and I can't act stupid. Like what? Two um, two. So here's a song about something I'm very close to. No poop at all. Or it's a skit. Okay, so a just skit. Like, <laughs> whatever. That's disrespectful. Oh. I'm just kidding. Okay. Oh my god, five more minutes and you're fucking out okay. of here. No. Oh, they are filming that. So very funny, Elaine. I hate to interrupt this delightful moment, but uh, where's the little girl's room? Oh, uh, down the hall, first door on your left. But, uh, whatever for? Well, you know, I need to powder my nose. <laughs> you mean lay some cable? Huh? Drop the kids off at the pool? What? Just say it, Helen. You need to evacuate feces from your bowels. Well, yes, but... I'm a little embarrassed, but everyone does it, right? Uh, no, they don't. Thanks to no poop at all, I haven't seen the inside of a restroom for months. Me too. Thank God for no poop at all. No what at all? No poop at all. It's the new miracle drug from Kleiser Pharmaceuticals. Hey, listen, I got a great idea. Why don't we all move our lips and soft focus while announcer explains everything to us in a soothing, slightly patronizing tone? All right. <laughs> According to the U.S. government, most Americans spend an average of 240 hours per year in the bathroom. With no poop at all, users can save valuable time by experiencing as little as three bowel movements a year. These evacuations have been known to last as long as 72 hours and may contain trace elements of blood, lead, mercury, and a substance that looks, smells, and tastes like flat dye Dr. Pepper. This is harmless and should not be photographed for any reason. You should not drive or operate heavy machinery while having your bowel movement on no poop at all. Children under the age of four and small woodland animals should avoid being within a 10 mile radius when this violent bodily function occurs. People who have had a nose job or are considering such a procedure should not take this product or handle the tablets unless they are wearing at least two pairs of high quality surgical rubber gloves. Ask your doctor about no poop at all. Life is short. Why waste part of it pooping? Thanks for setting me straight, girls. But I'm afraid I still need to take a little break. That time of the month. <laughs> You gotta be kidding. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, Helen! From trusted Kleiser Pharmaceutical, the makers of No Poop at All, comes an exciting new prescription medication for women called Menstop. Just one Menstop tablet each day and you can enjoy a brand new freedom from the pain and inconvenience that is your monthly period. Just think of it. No more relationship dampening mood swings, excruciating cramping, or unattractive bloating. And say goodbye once and for all to expensive binge eating and pricey feminine hygiene products. With Menstop, your period arrives just once a year as an odorless clear liquid shipped to you in a discreet brown paper package that easily could be a pair of strappy pumps ordered from the home shopping network or a chunky gold-plated bauble from overstock.com ask your doctor about menstop now available in cherry sex in the city chewables menstop because the only thing worse than being human is being a woman menstop is no way affiliated with the lesbian self-defense program of the same name no poop at all. That's funny stuff, right? Do you have to poop? No. Or are you still on no poop at all? Do you still take it? I still take it. Yeah? Yeah, I haven't pooped in months. Wow. Are you saving it for anybody? Especially? Um, well, I have an art project coming up. Oh, cool. so. She's doing a project. I'm going to do a, um, a bust of Obama. <laughs> now that is offensive. That's hot. Obama is offensive. You shouldn't talk about well, that person. Yeah. Uh, I was going to tell you a Filipino joke, but you won't get it. Um, anyway, so that was with Roseanne and, how do you say? Selene Luna. Selene Luna and, and Nadia, Ginsburg. Nadia Ginsburg. You wrote that one though, See? Right? See? Nadia is half Jewish, Roseanne is Jewish, and Selene is a dirty Mexican, so I'm not <laughs> racist. I work with everyone, no matter... What are you? How. What color are you? I am Italian. Really? Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, my mom was born in Milan. Oh, wow. I yeah. hated Milan. Really? Well, I went there and I got lost all the time. Wow. Well, it's not the most touristy. Yeah, you know, there's like touristy. there's not you know it's not like Pisa or Rome. But I went to Milan right after my mom died. I got this phone call saying, "Do you want to perform at a Chupa Chups like anniversary party, the sucker company?" Oh, yeah. And it was like right after my mom died, so I took some of her ashes. Yeah. Wow. My dad gave me an address where I used to pick her up and stuff. Oh, that's so sweet. I know. So mm -hmm. laugh it up. My mom's dead. We were going through something with our mom, but anyways. Oh. So you toured with Roseanne. I did. Uh, but you haven't seen her show yet? 
No, uh, I've canceled. seen I've seen some of it. That I've been nice. listen. I've been in Provincetown for ten weeks, and I had Netflix, so I was watching you know reruns of Mad Men. Oh, of course. Yeah, so I didn't Turn watch. Sorry, That's Roseanne. Nice. <laughs> Are you gonna visit her on the Big Island? Uh, she's in New York right now. Oh, she is. Yeah, so it's so strange that because she would have come. Really? Could you imagine? I that would have been hot. That would have been crazy. You guys would have been battled. I love her, then. She's cool. Um, so she's on this mission to save the world. Mm -hmm. Are you joining her in that mission? Do you? No. No. She's saving it from me. <laughs> no. Um, no, I think it's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any political ambitions or missions or? No. No. I've given up. Nothing changes. It doesn't matter who gets into office. It's just. Do you vote? Of course I do. Yeah. You vote yes. Black. I vote, I, I hate vote. to say it, I vote Democratic, but it's all the same thing yeah. now. It's so They're stupid. All. It's disgusting. Plus he's on the payroll. Right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, this country, until they get rid of lobbying and lobbyists, I mean, they're just shameless about it. And the FDA is fucked up. Yeah, it's like, let's just approve these drugs and then people drop dead yeah. and then it's like, you know, my they've friend, made billions and billions and then they pay out a couple million. It's worth it. My friend, she's cuckoo and she can't get her, her benefits. Cuckoo medicine? Yeah, she, well, she can't get her, her benefits for being cuckoo unless she takes all these drugs that they give her. It's, <laughs> it's really fucked up. It's nuts. And then, you know, they don't want, nobody's going to find a cure for cancer or anything like that. Cancer they just want, care that it's Christmas. They, they really don't want and you know what? Arbor Day doesn't care that it's AIDS. Wow. <laughs> Am I supposed to get that? Well, I was just trying to think of an A. Um, oh. Okay. A holiday. Alliteration. <laughs> yes, alliteration. Um, Illiterate. Nation. So Illiterate nation. What? What would you let me do? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> That is a very, very obscure reference to a couple of days and nights. <laughs> Did you laugh at all? Um, I laughed that I had to watch it. I was like, I'm just saying my part. Like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I like in the extras, you say, everybody is really talented. Oh, well, of course. <laughs> Even though I wasn't in drag in that movie, listen, don't trust any drag queen who doesn't think she's the shit. I always think I'm the best. First of all, I usually am. Oh. Hi. Hi. Ms. Davis, she got mad at me. Did she? Because I, I asked her if I could do a music video to one of her songs, mm -hmm. Homosexual is Criminal. And she's all, no, my um, record label's very Sue happy, so you shouldn't do it. L lit litigious. litigious. So I did it anyway, because I was like, what are they going to do? I'm not going to make any money off of it. It's for public access. Right. And then I ran into her in Berlin. Uh -huh. We had this like half hour reunion on the corner. She even like got all animated and hit some passerby in the face. Oh. And we like had this cute little reunion. And then I read her blog ten days later. She's all, my ex Jackie Beats ex stalker made a terrible video to one of my songs. I can't afford to sue him, but I'm sure my record label will. Oh, so, she yeah. should be happy. Anyone even cares? Yeah. <laughs> But I will say to you, if you're going to ask and somebody says no, you should respect that. I'm just saying. Oh, I understand. I thought she was saying. It's because people ask me things all the time. Do you mind if I blah, blah, blah? And I'm like, oh, no, I don't think you should. And then they're like, well, and I'm like, well, you, then why do you ask? Is the only acceptable answer yes? The reason I asked that I, I did know. it because she said her record label. And then, she, then it turned out she didn't want me to do it. So yeah. she had said she didn't well, want me to, but I thought it I mean, get to Come on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thanks can you guys do, wait a minute? Wait, wait, wait. Can yeah. you guys do any editing? We can. Yeah. Like even though we went over five minutes. Yeah, we totally can. You can like take out. I'm surprised we're not kicked out yet. Okay. But, oh, okay. No. Oh, should you say something to the camera? Huh? Should I say bye? Or are we done? Yeah, we're done. <laughs> Get the fuck Thanks out. Thanks for watching Shock Attack, you guys. Oh. And thank you. Jeffrey. Is it call me or? Is that the one you're doing oh, right? Oh God. Who oh, cares? Right. I've got I've got nails uh -huh. and jewelry. Get nailed next. Anyways. Listen, don't feel bad for Jesus. He had dinner with 12 hot guys and then he got nailed. 